Stick to the basics. Stick to the basics. Stick to the basics. Stick to the basics, my friends. What does that mean in football as well as crypto? Well, it means stick to the basic fundamentals. And that is what we are doing today. Some deep dive FA fundamental analysis. So are you ready for our oop de oop Well, you don't really have a choice because it's time for Chico Crypto. So fundamentally, what should be the goal of a crypto investor? Well, in my opinion, finding the projects who have a fundamental reason to stick around, aka longevity. The ones that aren't going to disappear in a cycle. Bitcoin and Ethereum aren't going anywhere, and there are many altcoins who fit this bill too. And there is a certain altcoin, one of my favorites, who has fundamentals on lock. They have a growing use case. They have big partnerships and they are using tech which will allow it to scale far into the future. And they were just mentioned by name in a very important press release from the world's largest asset manager with $10 trillion in assets under their management. BlackRock posted this blog, BlackRock Bitcoin Private Trust. And it says, BlackRock is committed to providing clients with access to their choice of investment opportunities and has launched a spot Bitcoin private trust. The trust is available to US institutional clients and seeks to track the performance of Bitcoin, less expenses and liabilities of the trust. Now, this is important because it's a spot Bitcoin trust, not a paper futures one. This means there will be real Bitcoin bought on the spot market inside of this trust. But the blog shedded more light into how this will work. BlackRock says, BlackRock is encouraged that organizations such as RMI and Energy Web are developing programs to bring greater transparency to sustainable energy usage in Bitcoin mining and will follow progress around those initiatives. And as you can see, they hyperlink to a certain program in the post. Clicking into that, we can see it takes us to a Medium post from Energy Web titled Climate Safe Crypto. Energy Web and RMI unveiled decarbonization approach for electricity intensive industries. And the blog states, Energy Web and RMI have released a draft approach to evaluating the material impact of market-based renewable energy purchases. The approach is applicable to any sector and is currently being trialed with Bitcoin miners as a foundation for an eventual certification program that will credential renewably powered mining and hosting operations. The process of accreditation, data verification, and issuance of verifiable credentials for cryptocurrency will be conducted using an implementation of Energy Web's open source green proof solution. Green proofs? Well, everyone should know BlackRock has gone full throttle into sustainable ESG investing. This is apparent on their website as it states, sustainability is BlackRock's standard for investing. So it's obvious to me BlackRock will be using Energy Web's green proofs for BTC solution to decide which miners or entities they will be purchasing the Bitcoin from for the trust. Because if you go back to the blog, it says, with the announcement, RMI and Energy Web have launched a broad stakeholder engagement consultation with the goal of refining and improving the draft approach following public comment and feedback. BlackRock is a stakeholder in this. Do you need more proof? Well, as you can see from the blog from Energy Web, it was posted on May 9th. Now look at this tweet from Walter Kook of Energy Web. On May 9th, in reply to the launch of that blog post, he posted a rock that went green and said, proof of green rocks. Can you say hint much all the way back in May? Now, if we go back to BlackRock's release on the trust, there may be some more bready crumbs. It says, BlackRock recently announced a partnership with Coinbase that will provide common clients of Aladdin and Coinbase access to the digital assets trading lifecycle through connectivity between Coinbase and the Aladdin platform, starting with Bitcoin. Could this be a hint of a connection between BlackRock, Energy Web, and Coinbase? Well, these were the only three entities mentioned in the press release. Energy Web, Coinbase listing imminent? 
So do you think I'm just gonna stop at this? No, Chico Crypto has way more fundamental alpha to drop on you all. Ready, break! Have you ever heard of the DREC initiative? Well, going to their website, we can see they are creating a new global mechanism for the certification of distributed renewable energy, DRE. And below it says, we are designing, delivering, and demonstrating new ways to certify and value distributed renewable electricity attributes through the creation of a new internationally recognized market instrument called the DREC, Distributed Renewable Energy Certificate. Now going to the About Us, we can see a company called South Pole is one of the two leaders of the project. And below this, we can see Energy Web is one of the implementation partners. Now in October of last year, this DREC system was presented by South Pole. And at around 12 minutes into the presentation, they dropped this slide, which shows how extensive the ecosystem of partners is. Microsoft, Google, Coca-Cola, Heineken, and many, many more partners, including listing Energy Web. But how involved is Energy Web? Well, let me tell you, big time. Later in the presentation, they explain what the DREC does. Let's listen in. Um, a key element of the initiative is to reduce the barriers to entry for small scale projects in the global environmental marketplace. And the manner in which we intend to do that is through the deployment of this DREC platform, which is essentially an automated system to issue DREC certificates that then subsequently will plug into the larger international standards and their associated systems. Now, did you notice anything in that slide? Well, let's just go back. As you can see, DREC is built on the Energy Web chain. Although this goes even further, South Pole tweeted back in October that the DREC initiative would be presented at COP26, the United Nations 2021 Climate Change Conference. And look who was presenting besides South Pole. Google was. But we already know Google has been working with Energy Web for over a year now. Who else could be connected to EWT? Well, at the end of 2021, PayPal released this document, their 2021 Global Impact Report. On page 32, they have a section titled Assessing and Mitigating the Climate Impacts of Crypto. And in this section, they say, We support efforts to develop GHG emissions accounting guidance that is consistent with recognized and widely adopted accounting frameworks and have used recent research from CryptoCarbon's Ratings Institute and South Pole to begin preliminary estimating our own impact. And they include a hyperlink, which takes you to a document from South Pole titled Accounting for Cryptocurrency Climate Impacts. And it says under about this report, this report was jointly developed by Crypto Carbon Ratings Institute and South Pole in consultation with PayPal. Now, if you search the document, not by Energy Web, but by Crypto Climate Accord, we can see this is referenced three times. Who is the Crypto Climate Accord? Well, if you don't remember, the Crypto Climate Accord's goal is to make crypto and its supply chains green. And it was jointly created by Energy Web, RMI, and the Alliance for Innovative Regulation. It seems pretty obvious to me, PayPal is likely to be joining the Crypto Climate Accord and will be using solutions built on the Energy Web chain. So who does research like this on crypto YouTube? Not many do like Chico, because we always stick to the basics, stick to the basics, stick to the basics, stick to the goddamn basics. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time.